I've just been diagnosed with prostate cancer. So I'm off to the Kenton Canterbury Hospital after this game. It's part of the Kent Oncology Unit. I'm going to see the radiotherapy team to find out more about radiotherapy to the prostate. I was expecting the prospect to be quite daunting, but I actually found the treatment much more straightforward than I expected. Normally, the consultation with the doctor, the planning and treatment, would take place over a period of four weeks. I'm going to share my experience with you, as, like many men, I had lots of questions about radiotherapy. So, who better to ask than the staff who carry out the treatment? Can you tell me why patients need to have radiotherapy for prostate cancer, without blinding me with too much science? Yeah, radiotherapy is aiming to cure prostate cancer. There are a number of different treatment options available. These would include surgery, external beam radiation and brachytherapy. Now your doctors may advise you to have one treatment over another based on what was found on your biopsies, based on your scans and based on your PSA levels. But I think the bottom line is, the most important thing for you to remember is that radiation is aiming to cure the cancer. What exactly is radiotherapy and how does it work? Well, radiotherapy is fast x-ray treatment. These x-rays are very energetic and what they can do is kill off precancerous and cancerous cells. Now, what we aim to do is to target that beam of x-rays to the prostate and to the seminal vesicles and the aim of it is to cure your cancer. We give this treatment in a number of sessions or something we often call fractions. I think it's really important for you to be aware that you're not going to be radioactive. It's something that people really worry about. It's absolutely safe for you to be with children immediately after the treatment. What kind of side effects might I experience? Like many treatments, radiotherapy does have side effects, but usually they're relatively mild. Probably the most common side effect is tiredness, and this tends to start about halfway through the treatment. It's not profound tiredness, um, but you may find you need to go to bed, say, half an hour or an hour earlier. Um, I would still encourage you to actually do some exercise because that helps to boost your general energy levels. Other common side effects um, are things affecting the bladder, so you might find that you need to wee more frequently, and it could burn or sting. You also might find that you open your bowels a little bit more frequently. Now, as you're aware, we do often put people on hormones, for the radiotherapy and often for three months beforehand. And these also have side effects. Hot flushes and weight gain is one of the most common ones. There are also some potential long-term side effects which you need to be aware of. Now these long-term side effects can start from anything from six months onwards and some can be permanent. One of the most common permanent side effects would be affecting the bowels. So men often describe that they need to open their bowels more frequently often quite close together, possibly two or three times in the day. Occasionally people do have diarrhoea, but that's usually well managed with some imodium and diet. The bladder can also shrink, which means you may need to pass urine a little more frequently. Some men do experience problems with maintaining erections long term, but we do have various drugs available and devices which can help with that. The other thing that's important to let you know is that it will cause long-term infertility. So if this is potentially a problem, we can arrange sperm banking for you prior to starting the radiotherapy. So if I'm happy to have radiotherapy, what's the next step? Okay, the next part will be you'll need to go through our special CT scan, so that's a CT simulator, um, and then we'll need to plan your treatment. Sometimes we need to put little markers into your prostate to help with the planning process, and if you need that, the radiographers will let you know. Hello, can I get you to confirm your full name and your date of birth, please? Yeah, it's Frank Richards, 7th of February 1958. Lovely. Now, how do you and your colleagues ensure the radiotherapy is accurately targeted? Whenever we give radiotherapy treatment, we're aiming to give maximum dose to the organ we're interested in, but minimum dose to the normal tissue surrounding that area. We do a CT scan to ensure we can accurately see that area for the doctor to, de to delineate on the treatment planning system and each time when you come for treatment we aim to get you lying in exactly the same position so that we can target that treatment. So what are the first things I ought to know about the planning stage? Prior to the CT scan you'll have an appointment with the specialist radiographer who will run through the side effects of the treatment, what you can expect during the treatment process and also the preparation that you'll need to do prior to the CT scan. So 
when you come for your radiotherapy scan and also each time before your treatment, we need to make sure that you have a comfortably full bladder. So what we'll ask you to do when you arrive is to empty your bladder and then drink 500 mils of water. We then wait approximately half an hour when we go through to the scanner, we use an ultrasound scanner so we can actually estimate the size of your bladder. If it's not full enough, we may need to wait a little longer. If it's a problem getting a full bladder, we may have to ask you to come back on another day. We also need to make sure that you're emptying your bowels regularly during the treatment because this affects the position of the prostate and the accuracy and reproducibility of the treatment. So what does the scan do? How does it help with the planning? A CT scan gives slices through the pelvis. We then send those images to our planning computer. The doctor will mark on the planning computer exactly where she wants the radiotherapy to go on each slice. We can then plan a dose distribution. What we aim to do is to cover the prostate and that target volume, but minimise the dose to the normal tissues. Once we have a final plan, the doctor will review that. Once they're happy with it, we can send all the parameters for that plan to the verification system on the treatment unit and then we can give an accurate plan each time when you come for your treatment. So as a patient, what would be the first thing I'd need to do? We would ask you if you could remove your trousers and put on a pair of our cotton trousers. This is so that there's no belts, buckles, loose change while it's in your trousers. We don't get images of those on the scans. We'd also ask you to pop on a pair of slippers because when we go through to the scanner, we'll ask you to lie down on our couch. We have a little footstocks for you to place your feet into. In the CT scan room, what would the process be? We'd ask you to lie down on our bed. You've got some sponges to go underneath your head. The knee rest needs to fit comfortably under your knees. The footstocks are adjustable, so we just make sure that your feet are flat in the footstocks. We just need to get to your pelvis. And then, once you're nice and straight on the bed, we would draw on you with a felt tip pen. Initially, we draw a line down the front, a line down each side. We have some CT markers that we place on your skin that actually show up on the scan. Once we've done the CT scan, we then bring the bed out, take off the sticky markers, and what we'd like to do with your permission is three little tiny permanent marks. They're actually a little tiny tattoo, a little pinprick of ink just under the surface of the skin. One on the front, one on either side. That means you can go home, you can wash, you can bath. All the pen marks will then wash off, but the three little dots remain. Each time you come for your radiotherapy treatment, we use those to get you in exactly the right position, and then measure from there to get the treatment in the right place. So one last thing we like to do when we've done the scan is just an ID photo. Just of your head and shoulders and then we're all done. Great. Okay, so you can get dressed again. The information from the CT scan is then used by the doctors and therapy radiographers to plan the radiotherapy. A series of calculations and careful checks are required to ensure the correct dose is delivered and the treatment proceeds accurately and reproducibly. After the simulation visit and scan, patients start radiotherapy approximately two weeks later. To find out what this entails, I met with Suzanne Stanley, the radiotherapy manager. Hello there, Frank. Can you just tell me your full name and your date of birth, please? Yeah, it's Frank Richards, 7th of February 1958. That's lovely, thank you. Anything you'd like to ask me at all before we go through? Yeah, approximately how many visits will I have to have to complete the course? OK, you'll have 37 treatments altogether, and that will take about seven and a half weeks to complete. We work Monday through to Friday, and we don't work the weekends. Occasionally we have machine service days, and you won't have treatment on those days, and what we tend to do is just add those visits on to the end. And the other thing to say before we take you through is that once you are set up and ready for your treatment, the radiographers will come out of the treatment room um, and to deliver the treatment at the console back here. We do have CCTV cameras in the room, and that means that they can see you all the time whilst they're treating you. And if you do need them to come in for any reason, it's just a case of raising your hand and they'll turn the machine off and come straight through to you. Can you show me what happens for the actual treatment? And yes, do you want to come on through? Mm -hmm. This is Frank. Um, I've ID'd him Hello. and he's ready to go. Hello, Hi. Frank. Hello. My name's Hello. This is Innocent. Doctor, come and lie down on the Lean couch. Thank you. So you can take a seat about here mm -hmm. and put your feet up here just as you were in the simulator. Right
You'll be asked to lie on the bed in the same position as you were for your CT scan. Your trousers will be lowered to locate the skin mark tattoos. We'll make the lights darker and the couch will be moved up so that you'll come closer to the machine but it won't ever touch you at all. Just in the night so that we can see the lasers to align you up. Point four and cash that Okay, and we've got two in. The tattoos are aligned using lasers. The radiographers will move you into the position and they will only ask you to move if they need you to. Once aligned, the machine will be rotated to the start position and the final measurements checked. We may also take pictures during the treatment course to verify the accuracy of your treatment. There's nothing to feel during treatment, although the machine may make a noise. There will be a beeping sound as we leave the room. There's no need to hold your breath, but you do need to keep very still. Okay, Frank, now you've finished your, uh, your radiotherapy, your side effects will carry on for a little while before they start to improve. So you need to carry on drinking plenty of fluids like you have been doing during your treatment and also maintain the same sort of diet that you've been you're on as well, high fibre diet. Uh, we're not going to leave you alone now you've finished. Here's a leaflet with some telephone numbers in case you need to get in touch with us. In about a week to ten days, someone will give you a telephone call at home to see how you're getting on and how your side effects are doing and then you'll be seeing the consultant in about two months time as well and just before that we'll ask you to get a PSA test a a PSA test? A prostate specific antigen ah, right. that's the test that the consultant will be using to to follow you up over the years ahead and you'll be having lots of consultant consultations and follow-ups Finding out more information about cancer and treatment can leave you feeling more in control of treatment and your future the Macmillan Cancer Information Centre in the Radiotherapy Department offers clear advice and face-to-face -face support to help you discuss the emotional effects of cancer and its impact on relationships. There's also advice on how to talk about your cancer. There's an excellent series of booklets and leaflets to guide you through your journey. Information about specific cancer types, various treatment options, symptom control, diet and alternative therapy. They also can provide information on welfare benefits, information on local and national support groups, and many other subjects on how to live with cancer. I wasn't sure what to expect, really. Maybe it's just fear of the unknown. But after my visits to the Kent Oncology Centre, meeting the consultants, radiotherapists, and all those involved in the process, I've come away with a great sense of relief and reassurance. Prostate radiotherapy is a safe and straightforward treatment that great care is taken and modern technology is used to ensure that treatment is given accurately and safely and that radiotherapy causes some side effects for most prostate patients but these can be managed by diet and medication. It's now four weeks since my radiotherapy and I'm feeling very positive about my treatment and the care I received. Any side effects I had were addressed quickly and efficiently by knowledgeable and friendly staff. I actually continued playing golf throughout my treatment with very little change to my routine. listing many of the common questions patients ask accompanies this film. For any further information on prostate cancer radiotherapy and its side effects, please consult your doctor or one of the therapy radiographers. Mm -hmm.